Well, John, this gallery is a motoring paradise no matter what size vehicle you're into. We've got everything from pedal cars to mopeds and dirt bikes and motorcycles to full-size cars, all kinds of neat things in here. Right, and this is just, you know, Matt, another example. We're now in one of five of the galleries uh, that's just loaded with artifacts gathered over almost 40 years of collecting. A lot of great motorcycles, a lot of great cars, a lot of great pedal cars as well. And the pedal cars in particular, Matt, really impressive in this group because they represent a lot of different eras, including a lot of pedal cars that are very hard to find or maybe almost impossible to find. They are gonna be attracting a lot of attention on their own. Right, and the presentation is just stellar, John, like you said, because you can really see the diversity of the types of pedal cars that have been made over the years. You've got everything from fire trucks to race cars to military Jeeps. It really makes sense why so many enthusiasts got into full-size cars by riding around in those things when they were little. Right, exactly. No shortage of vintage signs. Many motorcycles, go-karts. A vintage Crosley, one of the first mini cars that dates back to 1949. And so not, maybe not surprising, uh, Ford Mustangs representing pony cars. We've got Chevelles from 1970 in muscle car era. But how about this, a 1975 Dodge truck with a 426 Hemi transplant. Who would have thought? Love that. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like you said, John, I love the pony cars out here as well. Really neat dune buggy. But one of the standouts to me was this. This is a 64 Amphi car with just over 6,000 miles. And John, I love the story behind it. As with pretty much every piece here that Elmer collected, it's got a story. His son said that his, uh, Elmer acquired it in 1977. You can see the stickers on it from a local, a local connection here in town. And even though we're overlooking the gorgeous Mississippi River, they said Elmer never, never took it out. He, <laughs> he wasn't a fan of the water. So we'll have to see if the new owner changes that. Now I know back here, John, these two were catching your eye. Let's start with the Corvette. What, what's special about this one? Well, Matt, I think we'll call this one my star car of the cars in this specific gallery. It's a 1978 Corvette, 25th anniversary edition, bought by Elmer, brand new. And you ready for this? 5.4 original miles. Still has the protective coating on the seats, and it even comes with a set of the matching luggage. And that's, that's uber rare. I have correct. been a Corvette enthusiast my entire life, and I've never seen that. And if you want full-size Chevrolet history, how about the 68 Impala, all original, with 4,000 actual miles on it? Wow. And you know, John, the other thing, in addition to the pedal cars and the full-size cars, Elmer made a name for himself with his diversity of bicycles. This is just a small part, I assure you, this wall. But man, you can see everything as early as the 1800s. He's got a bicycle. Really neat and just showed the diversity of his interest as a collector. Right. Yeah, well said. And keep in mind, everything that we're looking at here is selling at no reserve.